Hi there, welcome to today's practice. Thank you for joining me. So today's practice is a minimalist approach to yoga, simple moves. This is a winding down practice that just really helps to connect the breath, body and mind. It's really focusing in, taking away anything that's really unnecessary. So let's lie down on the mat. Make sure that you feel warm. We're not gonna warm up a lot in this practice. So keeping your warm things on if you would like to. And then let's just start lying on the back. And before we start moving, let's just um, take the arms a little bit away from the body, palms facing up, uh, feet hip distance apart. Just allowing the eyes to close down. Just feeling the back surface of the body. So noticing any points of contact with the mat. Slightly following the breathing in and out through the nose. Just allowing the face to be soft and the shoulders soft. So noticing if there's any, anywhere that you might just be holding tension, just scanning the body with the mind's eye. And sometimes just bringing the awareness to a particular part of the body just allows it to soften. And then let's open the eyes. Bring the feet out as wide as the mat. So the outside edges of the feet in line with the outside, outsides of the mat and take the arms a little bit away from the body. So you can drop the knees over to the right, turn the head to look over the left shoulder just taking a couple of breaths here, just allowing the legs to be heavy. And then inhale the legs back up through the center and then drop them over to the other side. Just allow the feet to stay wide. Just feeling into the weight of the legs. And same thing, just noticing if you're holding tension anywhere, you can just let go of any unnecessary effort. It's easy breathing. And then inhaling, bringing the legs back up through the center. Bring the feet in a little bit closer and the hip distance apart and then arms down by your side. And then from here, let's reach the fingertips up towards the ceiling, inhaling, and then all the way back behind you. Try to rest them very lightly down on the floor, mat behind you, and then exhale, bringing the arms back down. And then again, inhaling, bringing the arms up and behind you, muscles at the base of the neck, relaxing away from the ears as you bring them back, and then exhale, bringing the arms back down. And then again, inhaling. And exhaling. And again, inhaling. And exhaling. And once again, inhale. And exhaling. Just taking the arms back behind you, inhaling. And this time let's leave the arms there just for a moment. Try to relax the muscles at the base of the neck. And now taking an inhale, as you exhale, bring the arms back down and bring the right knee up into a tabletop position. And then as you inhale, bring that right leg back down, bring the arms back. Exhale, left leg comes up, arms come down. And then inhale, place the left leg down and arms reach back. 
exhaling right leg up arms down and inhaling arms back right foot down left leg coming up arms coming down and then placing that left foot down arms coming back and just a few more like this right leg coming up tabletop and inhale place the arms back down foot down left leg up and placing it back down we're going to go one more time right and left bringing the right leg up arms down arms back right foot down and left leg up and arms back down and placing that leg back down taking those arms up taking an inhale exhaling bringing those arms back down bring the feet in a little bit closer towards you and then tucking the tailbone under take a spinal roll all the way up into your your bridge reaching the fingertips down towards the feet and take another inhale as you exhale roll one vertebra at a time all the way back down taking an inhale and then as you exhale curl the tailbone under spine roll all the way back up taking another in breath at the top and then exhale rolling all the way back down and then again inhaling and then exhale spine roll up inhale at the top and then exhale to roll down inhaling at the bottom last time exhaling to come up and let's hold it here for a couple of breaths now just letting the shoulder heads relax down you might need to come a little bit high up onto the tips of the shoulders keep reaching the tailbone in between the knees and rather than going for your full kind of setabandhasana variation let's go for a more uh, uh, variation that's more for the legs here so pressing down through the soles of the feet reaching the tailbone back in between the knees steady breath taking one more inhale and then as you exhale rolling one vertebra time all the way back down and then just letting the back of the pelvis rest back down bring the legs up to your tabletop position knees can stay hip distance apart here taking an inhale to extend the right leg long and the left arm back so left arm and right leg away and then exhale to come back left leg extends away right arm extends back inhale and then exhale to bring it back right leg long left arm back and coming back left leg long right arm back inhale exhale back to your tabletop right leg long left arm back inhale exhaling back left leg right arm back exhale back just a few more times right leg long left arm back coming to tabletop left leg long right arm back back into your tabletop let's just go one more time right and left right leg long left arm back left leg long right arm back and back into your tabletop place the feet down lift the hips up and take the hips slightly over towards the right and then take uh, the feet off the mat knees come together we're going to drop the knees over to the right hand side just going to move this a little bit dropping the knees over to the right trying to have both shoulder blades down particularly that left shoulder blade taking those arms out to the side into a t-shape so palms facing up allowing the legs to be as relaxed as you can just taking an inhale as you exhale we're going to thread this left hand across the chest onto that right arm palms the hands come together and then inhale to open back out across the front of the chest turning the head to look over towards the left inhaling exhale threading that right hand across the chest placing it on top of that right hand and then opening back up again just taking an inhale and then exhale threading it across letting the head be really relaxed inhaling opening up to the ceiling letting that left shoulder relax down and then exhale threading across 
And we'll just go two more times. Inhaling to open and exhale, threading across and inhale to open and exhale, threading across. And let's take it back to our open position, our twisted position and feeling free to keep the head turning towards the left and we'll just hold it here for a couple of breaths, letting that left shoulder blade relax down. Closing the eyes if that's comfortable. Easy breathing, legs relaxed. Staying with the body, staying with the breath. And then just bringing the head back to center, bringing the feet back towards the middle arms back down by your side. Just make sure you're back towards the center of your mat. Let's lift the hips up and take them slightly towards the right this time. Bring the feet off, coming into your tabletop, so dropping the knees over to the left-hand side this time. We're just trying to line up the hips with the shoulders and then taking those arms out to the side into your T-shape. Trying to let that right shoulder blade relax down. Just taking an inhale. As you exhale, threading this right hand across the chest onto that left arm, palms hands come together. And then taking an inhale, opening back out, looking towards that right hand. And then exhale, threading it across the body, sliding it down onto that left hand. And then inhale to come across, opening out to the side. And then exhaling across the chest, sliding it onto that left hand. And then inhaling to open. And then exhale, taking it across. And inhaling to open. And we'll just go a couple more. This is the last one. Let's take it back to our open position, chest turning towards the ceiling, turning the head to look over the right shoulder. Just closing the eyes if that's comfortable. Just allowing the right shoulder blade to be heavy. Scanning the body for any unnecessary effort, tension. bringing the head back to center, bringing the legs back to center, arms down by your side. It's coming back towards the middle of your mat, hips in line with the shoulders, feet hip distance apart. It's bringing the right knee towards the chest, holding behind that right thigh and starting to take that right leg up towards the ceiling, just to where you can. So if you need to keep it slightly bent too, otherwise just take your hands up just to wherever it feels comfortable. And we're going to take a small bend Take an inhale and then exhale to straighten. Just take a small bend, inhale, and then exhale to try to straighten. So you might have your leg really just as far away as you need to try to straighten. Inhale to bend and then exhale to straighten. And again, inhale to bend, exhale to straighten. We'll just hold it here for a couple of breaths. You might hold it a little bit further down your thigh. Option to extend that left leg long, flexing both feet. Try to drop that right hip away from the right shoulder. Inhaling and then exhale. Just bending both knees back up, giving them a little bit of a squeeze, placing the feet flat onto the mat, taking that left leg up towards the ceiling, holding behind the thigh or a little bit further up if you can, keeping that left foot flex. Let's take a small bend, take an inhale and then exhale to straighten and then inhale and exhale to straighten. And again, inhale to bend, exhale to straighten. I'll go one more time, inhale to bend, exhale to straighten. So holding it here, relax the shoulders, 
Option to extend that right leg long, flexing both feet. If your right leg is long, pressing down through the back of that right thigh. Left hip dropping away from that left shoulder. Taking one more inhale. And then as you exhale, bend through that left leg, bring both knees in towards the chest. Just give them a little bit of a squeeze in. Try to relax the shoulders, press down through the tailbone. Press down through the back of the neck, just lengthening out the entire spine. Take one more inhale. And then as you exhale, placing the feet back down and then extending out long into your Shavasana. So letting the feet fall away from one another. Arms a little bit away from the body, palms facing up. Lifting those shoulders up. Slide the shoulder blades back down as you place them back down. Allowing the eyes to close. Slightly following the breath in and out through the nose. Just noticing if there's any unnecessary effort or tension. Just letting it go. Resting here for the next few minutes. Feeling free to stay here for as long as you need to. So thank you so much for joining me for today's practice. I'll see you next time.